feel most at home In the woods East where my heart ain't a sinking stone Don't let me be sad anymore Fill me up with your fresh air In the woods is where I feel most at home My heart in a sinking stone Don't let me be sad anymore Fill me up with your fresh air Don't let me be sad anymore Fill me up with your fresh air Don't let me be sad Listen to the sound of the river flow Listen to the sound of the trees blowing Ain't no thoughts from my phone Ain't no distractions all at home Listen to the river of the river flowing I wish I had the patience to watch the leaves fall I wish I had the patience to watch them turn from green to yellow to orange to gone Listen to the river flow Listen to the river Listen to the river Bus life for me isn't about the high school popularity contest that it's becoming on social media with like your followers, subscribers, and it's, it's becoming like a numbers game. I feel like it's high school. I don't subscribe to that. Bus life for me is about being free, feeling free. What, what I mean by that, let me explain that. Like, to me, freedom is choice. 
right? When I was working full time, nine to five, I mean, I feel like I didn't have a choice. I had to go to work. I had to clock in. I couldn't go home early. I'd, I'd look out the windows and I'd be like, I wish I could go outside, but I feel like I couldn't. And then there's rent and there's mortgage. And like, it's the same thing. It, it almost becomes like a mental trap. Cause it's like, you have to pay $600 a month, let's just say, for rent. It means you have to go to work. So if you're trapped in this cycle, and then you're on social media, scrolling through Instagram, or watching YouTube videos of these people that are just living in the woods, building campfires, having fun, and it just seems so unattainable. Bus life, to me, is the choice. I can decide to drive to Florida right now. Literally, right now. I could get in this bus and just drive to Florida. I could keep building this fire. I could sit here in the woods right here for the next two months if I want choice and that and that to me is freedom and that is a feeling freedom is a feeling and, and, and it does something mentally into like your soul and, and that's what that's what bus life is to me and, and the bus is like a vehicle to basically to basically attain that so now I'm not, I'm not trapped at my job to support this $2,000 mortgage or this $600 rent I have to pay every month. I'm not trapped in a state wishing I could move to another state for the next three years. I can just drive there. Like that, that is the essence of bus life, choice and freedom. A lot of people like to say, oh, well, you have, how do you do this? How do you do that? There's all these questions. All those questions, those are just ways for your mind to trick you into thinking it's not achievable. Like, this isn't Neverland. This isn't a fairy tale. I'm not the only person living in a bus. It is very achievable. And I think everything is achievable if you figure it out. It's easy to give up. It's easy to say... Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I don't have the money. Oh, I don't. I've never built anything in my life. That's easy. It's harder to set your mind to something and figure it out. Decide to do something and just know that you're going to get to the end and you're going to finish it and you're going to get there. That's harder and that's way more fulfilling because then when you are there, like you can look back at the time you didn't even own a drill. You can look back at the time you were working nine to five and you could literally be living in your dream right now. That's magic. And like once I discovered this, I could never give it up. I could never go back to not having choice. A lot of people want to say, well, how do you do it? How do you make your money? Da -da 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 -da. What I do isn't what you can do. Everybody's different, right? I was a full-time photographer, videographer. I would go do a job, and then I would stay at that location for however long I wanted. And the thing is, is like, I don't need to make $2,000 a month to survive. Like, I only needed to make like 800, 600. Like, that's easier to achieve on your own than, you know, two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. And like, I, was a professional camera guy. That's how I did it, right? That doesn't mean everybody wants to get in the best life needs to go buy a camera and figure it No. I know people that drive around and go to thrift shops and they buy vintage clothing and they resell it online. I know people that sell their art online. I know YouTube creators who just make videos and make their money doing that. So, so my point is, I know people that work regular jobs on the road, nine to five. What I'm telling you is stop telling yourself, I can't do this because of this, whatever it is. I'm not saying it's bus life, it's anything. You can do anything. You can go anywhere. You just have to figure it out. You can build anything. You just have to figure it out. And like, 
I wish, and by my social media and the content that I create, like I want to inspire people to believe in themselves. This lifestyle literally changed my life. Like, I feel like I'm actually alive. I'm actually living. I'm actually chasing my dreams every day. Whether I succeed or not, it doesn't matter. Like, just just chasing the dream and, like, my ideas. Like, it's just it's a feeling. And I wish... I see so many people... So many people on my Instagram. Oh, I wish I could do what you're doing. You can't. So many people in the YouTube videos. Oh, I'll do that one, when this or that or that. Like, realistically, most people that are putting things off, they'll never do it. If you want something, reach out for it. If you want to do something, take a step towards it. Compound interest. It's better to do, save $30 a paycheck towards your goal then save nothing and then just keep complaining it's better to spend one hour building your bus a day when you don't feel like it than not to do it at all because eventually that one hour every single day is going to add up to your bus being done whether that takes three months two years or five like there will be an end i don't even know what this video is or what i'm trying to say here i love bus life i love the freedom that it gives me I love the choices. I love the people I get to meet. And it's with this video, I just want to inspire somebody out there to do something they want to do. Or build a bus. Whatever it is. Somehow the world made us think that we need to do, we need to go to high school. We need to go to college. We need to get a job. We need to get a wife. We need to have kids. And then it's just a circle that repeats. Like, I want choice. If that's what you want, take it. I'm not saying it's wrong. All I'm saying is, we are human beings. We are each individual. And whatever it is your heart desires, reach for it. Because this feeling of freedom is real nice. And hopefully, if one person watches this video and it changes the way they think, then it was worth it. Okay, so I couldn't film at the hot spring because there was a whole bunch of people there and they were naked. Couldn't film that. That happens a lot of hot springs in Oregon. They're just getting more and more blown up, unfortunately. But it was still an awesome soak. And I'm super grateful I was able to get in the water.
to unplug. I needed to disconnect. It's been so long since I've gone out and done a shoot where I didn't have service for a day or two days or three days. Like, I forgot how critical this is. Just, just having internet or cell phone service, it's like I'm constantly checking my Instagram, checking YouTube, seeing how things are doing. It's always boom, boom, boom. There's always something going on, something happening, an email coming in. It's just so much stimulation. It's hard to rest. And coming out here into the woods, I'm not distracted. I literally can just watch the river, listen, listen to the forest, and, and think about what's in my head and process where I've been, where I want to go. I feel like I'm resting just being alive out here. I forgot how important it is to disconnect once in a while and just embrace life. 